Hey, Katie. Does it ever seem as if students aren't participating in their community? You know what, Danielle? It kind of sometimes does. But coming up, we have stories about student engagement, a different kind of sport, and something to get you in the holiday spirit. Stay tuned for something punny. Welcome to this edition of O News. I'm Danielle Thompson. And I'm Katie Love. Thank you for joining us today. This is an important year because we had an election here in Oakland. And even though students can't vote yet, they still have a lot of influence. But it seems like they just don't care. That's true. Because, for example, a lot of students don't know that Measure N just passed. The measure raises money to help Oakland high school students prepare for college and career. And in that same election, Libby Schaff was elected the new mayor of Oakland. Danielle Ruby and I recently had the pleasure of speaking with her in a small business in Old Oakland, where she spent nearly an hour talking to us. We are so thankful for her time. Libby Schaff was born and raised in Oakland and has a strong passion for her home city. She went to Skyline High School and now her children also attend Oakland Public Schools. Young people, also in Oakland Public Schools, learned an effective way to change their community by participating in campaigns. And it was so exciting because People who were not old enough to vote realize that they actually have a lot of power in elections because they can go out and talk to other people about voting. Students' political power is great because even though not all of us can vote, it's important for everyone to know what's going on around us because the decisions made now affect our future. Exactly. The people in power now shape our future and they have high expectations for us and we can't let them down. I want every student in Oakland to know that I expect you to work hard every day. And yes, sometimes it's hard, sometimes there are distractions, but I expect you to realize your great potential. We are the future of Oakland, and that is a huge responsibility. But of course, we can do it. I think it's great when students show initiative and community issues. I do too. In our next piece, one of our own student reporters, Ruby Rosenberg, caught to speak with our own superintendent, Antoine Wilson, with Youth Focus. Recently, at the KDUL TV studio, a panel of passionate students, including myself, came together to talk with the new superintendent of OUSD, Antoine Wilson. As students, we really care about the future of OUSD, and this is Youth Focus. So the OUSD is very diverse um, uh, in terms of its demographic, and that's something that I find very unique about it. Um, my question for you, though, is given the like level of gentrification that's been taking place in Oakland over the recent years, how do you plan to maintain a diverse demographic while improving the quality of our schools? Thank you. Thank you. I think it really is about partnering with the uh, partner with the city and uh, really trying to make sure the city um, recognizes the value that Oakland has in having the diversity that it has. I mean, I just came here and I spent time and I was like, oh, wow. I mean, this is something else. And then in, in terms of our schools, it's trying to create some structures in our schools that put quality in that maybe would entice parents to travel um, or maybe even stay in their neighborhood that, so that we can have uh, some, some more heterogeneous base schools. We talked with Superintendent Wilson for over an hour and a half about our issues. And we'll be seeing him again soon on Youth Focus. We are very thankful to the Superintendent Wilson for joining us. And now we go to Ramon and Karen to On Air to talk about creative new ways to get the job done in school. Welcome to On Air. My name is Karen Perez. And I'm Ramon Lewis. Today our guest is Tashella Fry. So to Shayla, what made you join the Fashion Art and Design Academy? It helps me with my dream career because my dream career is uh, film, produ film production and photography. And well, we're doing photography for my final and I'm making the pictures I take of the nature um, more abstract than it was. How hard was it to take pictures and abstract them? It wasn't that hard because I took the pictures to make them more abstract so it won't, so when I use Photoshop to edit the pictures, um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be so hard for me. Well, I want to go to college in New York, a college in New York, well, and I will, my major will be like 
um, film, film production and photography. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Karen Perez. And I'm Raymond Lewis. And we'll see you next time on On Air. And now for my personal favorite, our new segment, Pun and Only. It's the Pun and Only with Danielle and Ruby. Hey Ruby, what do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? What? Frostbite. Oh. Well, wasn't that great? Yes. Yes, it was. Thank you so much, Danielle and Ruby, for sharing that with us. We look forward to seeing much more from you guys soon. I'm glad you liked it. And now we shoot over to Nick with an extreme story. Hi there. My name is Nicholas Gant, and this is for O New Sports. There's a lot of sports going on right now with football and basketball, but I'm here to talk to you about an extreme sport called ripstick. Hello, my name is Ravis. I'm from Congo. My hobby is riding ripstick. I started riding ripstick since three months ago. It was pretty hard learning how to ride it. I fell a lot, a lot of times. And most of my friends making fun of me, they like, Ravis, you never get it. Just give up. But I knew that I could do it. Wow, that was amazing. And no matter what school you go to, make sure you always root for your OAL school teams. This is Nicholas Gant for O New Sports, signing off. Gnarly tricks, not only for kids. Now we meet a student at Fremont High School that has had a hard time in school, but not for the typical reasons. <laughs> Hi, my name is Laura. I'm here at Fremont High School and I'm going to interview one of the newcomer students at this school. Newcomer means it's a student that just came to the United States and doesn't speak English. I'm going to interview them about their experience being a newcomer at this school. My name is Alondra and I'm from Mexico. I am an architecture academy. I have been here two years. As a newcomer, I have faced a lot of things such as talking with other people and not understanding my homework. To understand the teachers and learn English, I have to stay uh, after school to do my homework and talk to the teachers who speak Spanish to tell me what do I have to do in the homework and all the stuff. This is a student that came to the United States not really long ago, but has learned and overcame a lot of things. Thank you for your time and see you next time. I love how young people can overcome challenges and show that nothing can hold them back when they go after something that's important to them. I agree. It's powerful when a community comes together to tackle issues, and our own Ken Wynn does just that. Hi, I'm Ken Wynn, and I'm a junior at Oaken High. I'm a member of Build On, a community service club where we volunteer around the Bay Area. We help out a swim and mind event by supporting and training the people who raise money for breast cancer. People that donated money and raised it. Why are you trying to take me so long? They swam one mile. Circle! And Build On did was that we were counting the laps that people did. They were timing. We also helped with the registering and with the wrap up after the event was over. I do service and I came here specifically to keep me off the streets and keep me occupied and also to learn more about breast cancer and its effect on people. This is my fourth swim mile that I've done with Build On and we've been and they were volunteering with it before I came along. Um, it's to me one of the most fun events. I know that a lot of us have been touched by cancer, friends or families and so I think it's really great to come out and support how we can. I belong to Build On because I believe I can make a big difference in my community and the environment. I'm Ken Wayne for O News. Sometimes it's easy to forget what young people can do. Yes, it is. But little things like these videos remind me that I can do anything that I put my mind to. A lot of these stories we heard today show us that Oakland students are unstoppable in a lot of things that they do. 
In school, we all push each other to do our best and nothing less. This is Danielle Thompson and Katie Love signing, signing off. off.